The title of this book is Aren't You Forgetting Something, Fiona? by Joanna Cole. In Fiona's family, everyone was good at remembering things. Everyone except Fiona. Fiona's mother always remembered where she put things. I knew it was here. Fiona's father remembered all his Aunt Sophie's best recipes. Aunt Sophie's best peanut pie. 50 pounds of cooked peanuts, one large pie crust. Hmm. Fiona's grandmother remembered the words to every song she ever heard. She'll be coming round the mountain, home, home on the range, twinkle, twinkle, do what? Row, 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 oh, Susanna. And Fiona's brother, Tim, remembered every bad thing Fiona had ever done to him. You spilled grape juice on my chess set. You made tooth marks on my space toys. You lost the tops of my markers. But that was ages ago. But Fiona had trouble remembering even the simplest things. You forgot lunch, dear? And your homework. And your book bag. If her mother asked her to get one thing. But I asked for a hairbrush, Fiona. She came back with something else. Even when she went out to play, Fiona was forgetful. Aren't you forgetting something, Fiona? One day, Fiona signed up for an exercise class with her best friend, Felicity. Jerry's Jungle Gym. But the day before class, Fiona began to worry. What if she forgot her gym clothes? What if she forgot to go to class at all? Fiona decided to ask her family for help. Make a big X on the calendar to remind yourself which day it is, said Tim. Put a note up telling yourself to go to class, said Grandmother. Leave your gym bag by the door, said father. And tie a ribbon around your trunk, said mother. Every time you see the ribbon, it will remind you that there is something special to remember. Fiona did it all. The next morning, she saw the ex, read the note, picked up her bag, and left the house right after breakfast. But it was too good to last. Fiona forgot where she was going. She went up one street and down another. Then she noticed the ribbon on her trunk. If I'm wearing a ribbon, I must be going to a party, thought Fiona. Maybe it is Felicity's birthday. Fiona ran to the store for a present. Then she set out for Felicity's house. She hadn't gone far when she saw Felicity poke her head out a window. Then Fiona remembered her gym class. Fiona gave Felicity the present anyway. My birthday isn't until next month, said Felicity. But thank you, Fiona. The present made jumping exercises a lot more fun. And Fiona's ribbon made a great headband. That night, Fiona showed her family what she'd learned in class. She remembered everything. The knee bend Handstand, push-up, jumping jack, high kick, backward roll. Her family was very proud of her, and Fiona was proud of herself. She went off happily to take her bath and get ready for bed. It had been a fine day, one Fiona would remember for a long time. The End